Next option in our keyframe assistant menu is the RPF camera import. Um, so this works with a very specific type of file. It's an RPF file. Um, this one I happen to export from Cinema 4D. And what it does is takes the camera information from your 3D file and it converts it into an After Effects camera that then you can use to composite text and images into your 3D scene. So we have a box here that's just rotating and we just wanna put this text layer here and it says box, we're gonna name it. Um, so what you would do is right click your layer like we have in all of the previous examples, go down to keyframe assistant and RPF camera import. And what that does is create a camera, a 3D After Effects camera. And right now it doesn't do much of anything. Um, but that's because we have to turn our text layer into a 3D layer by clicking this switch here. And you can see instantly it disappeared from the scene. And that's because the way 3D cameras and Cinema 4D and 3DS Max and Blender, the way that they operate is different than the way cameras in After Effects operate. After Effects stares at the position point of 1920 by 1080 or 960 by 540 in a 1080p composition. And that's the center of its world. But the cameras within Cinema 4D and Blender and 3ds Max, they operate on a 0, 0 scale. So in order to get our box back where we want it to be, we just change our position properties to 0, 0. And that brings it right back into the center. Um, right now it's overlapping our box, but we kind of want it to sit over the top of it so we can just grab our Y axis here and drag it up. Now when we play this, it pairs the animation of the camera to the box and our text is suddenly composited in a 3D space.